the best defense in men, 25. Free safety zone blitz out of dime 3-2. This is basically the new version of dollar, and this defense is really, really effective. Now, this defense is not 100%. It doesn't work every single time, but it is very effective. And if you want to get my entire dollar 3-2 defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link in the description to our school community. If you don't know what we're doing on school, I'd really encourage you to check it out. It's only $10 to be a member of our school site, and that's where you're going to access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden and for college football. Now, the setup for this blitz is really simple. You do want to turn your auto flip off so that the blitz always comes in on the left side of the screen. And the simple setup that we have for you is we are just going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to press our coverage and we are going to put the safety on the left side into a hook curl. So we're only sending four people at the quarterback. And what you're going to see is when I snap this ball, you're going to get this really nice a gap pressure that is super, super hard to pick up. Now, if they do block their running back in this case, I am going to block my running back on the left side of the screen. And what you're going to see here is that that running back does pick him up. He does not always pick him up. As you see there, technically he didn't. It was the center. Normally, this blitz can actually come in, especially like a lot of people this year are running this bunch uh, nasty formation, and they put their running back to that right side of the screen. If they do consistently put their running back over there, you're going to see that this blitz will come in for the most part against even a block running back there. He got kind of picked up at the very end of it, but for the most part, this blitz is really effective. Now, this blitz is about a thousand more times as effective in game as well. And if you want to, you can actually send five. You can send that slot corner off of the other side uh, as well. So if they are consistently maybe blocking it, what I would advise you to do is go ahead and send five at your opponent. And we're going to just simply pinch our defense, press, put the safety in a zone, and then blitz the corner that is on the left side. So you see this is what the defense looks like. I'm going to stand right here. Some of this, too, is I'm not super aggressive with my hover. But as you see, and that time we got defensive tackle, A-gap, trying to come in up the middle of the defense. So this defense, all in all, one of my favorite ways to play defense this year. Uh, I just think it's the most consistent, little simple four-man pressure that can just absolutely scream at your opponent up the middle. Now, the rest of this uh, little tutorial here that I wanted to break down is that this also can work against formations like trips tied in. So it's not just a bunch blitz. It can work against pretty much any formation in the game. And you're just going to stand right here. And what you're going to see against this trips defense is this blitz continues to come in even against trips tied in. So you have the ability to blitz bunch. You have the ability to blitz trips. You have the ability to blitz tight. You have the ability to literally blitz whatever you want to do. As you see, this blitz is super, super effective. Now, uh, as far as how to the block it, what they can do is they can block a running back on the left side of the screen. If they do that, that is where I really like to put this slot corner in the uh, blitz assignment here because oftentimes he's going to hold that running back. And there you see we get the A-gap in against a blocked running back. If they block a tight end, I don't see that type of pass protection a lot this year, to be honest. But if they do block a tight end, we'll just see how this works. A lot of times it still comes in. It's trying to come in there. Almost did. If we, if we send the slot corner, we're probably going to get that pressure against a block tight end. So it's pretty much what they basically have to do is a lot of different slide protections and techniques to try to block this blitz, which is obviously then going to open up other blitzes in this, in this defense. But block tight ends probably – it's okay. I wouldn't say that it's like 100% consistent. It's probably a little bit better than blocking the running back on the right side. But really the best tip for them is to probably block that running back on the left side of the screen. But you see here, block tight end, you see it's, it's, it's still getting pressure, right? And uh, for the most part, this actually can, like I said, it, it certainly can come in. It's not 100%. I'd say this blitz online probably comes in about 80% of the time and if they don't block anybody. And if they block like the tight end, or for example, some, it's probably about 70, 60, 70% that you're still getting pressure. You're only sitting four people at the quarterback too, by the way. So this defense is a lot of fun. Uh, something you can do this year that was really good last year as well as you can kind of lurk on this DN. You can try to do that this year as well. If you guys want a little bit more passive, pa passive pressure, you can do that. But I like to send four, and basically this is what I pretty much do all game. We're just going to come out. We're going to press. We're going to pinch ready line. We're going to put the safety in the zone, put that, and then this is pretty much my adjustments, right? We might make minor things like deep halfing this guy and purpling this guy, or you know maybe situationally we'll go to DB fire too. But this is – the best way to be playing the game right now defensively. I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you want to check out my entire dollar three, two defensive ebook where we under, we not only explain how everything works, but we also explain why everything works and what you can learn for whatever formation you want to run. 
Make sure that you're in the school community. That's where you get everything. You get all the knowledge that you need to go to the highest level that you want to go to. And it's only 10 bucks to be a member. So 10 bucks, you can learn pretty much everything about Madden in that community. Thanks for watching. And to sign up for the community, head down to the description and click the link down below.